What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to showcase this absolute beast of a weapon. But before we get into it, if you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like is much, much appreciated. Okay, so the Shadow Prize, what a fucking weapon. Now before we get into this thing, if you guys don't know how it's obtained, it is obtained from Vanguard packages. It doesn't drop very often to say the least, but if you do manage to have one drop or you have one stored in your vault, dust that morpho off and give it a try for damn sure. Now due to the recent 2.5.0.2 patch hotfix update whatever the fuck it was, auto rifles across the board received a few buffs, a precision damage buff by 1.3 times, the slow rate of fire auto rifles such as the Suresh Regime, the Shadow Price, the Grim Citizen and so on. All with the 77 rate of fire 28 impact I believe received an increase to their base damage by 2.5. Auto rifles as well across the board also receiving an increased in air accuracy buff. So nothing major major in terms of the buff but still there is a big difference in my opinion to auto rifles within PvP now. I think what helps the matter even more is that other primaries have changed too. This definitely helps the favour of auto rifles. So the shadow price. As you can see mine on screen now, it really isn't anything special. Well I didn't think it was anyway. I was always under the belief that you'd want two stability perks on this kind of auto rifle and to be honest of this fact I believe I've probably deleted better shadow prices than what I have now. The site I have the red dot or RES which isn't the best but it is still pretty good. I have replenish, I have hand loaded depending magazine and reinforced barrel with counterbalance. Now I took this thing into PvP and I didn't expect much, but damn it surprised me. Like I said I thought having two stability perks on this weapon was the way forward. I now 100% know that that is not the case. If you have one with counterbalance, hopefully not having focus fire as well, I'd say at least give it a try. Within the center perk tree I'd even go to say if you do have a stability perk here like counterbalance but you also have a range perk which doesn't affect its standard stability I'd probably tell you to choose that range perk. I go for a pended magazine due to having 25 bullets in a clip as standard and my other two center perks ain't being that great. The range one obviously affects its standard stability, so yes I go for a pendant magazine here. It is all about that counterbalance, proven many times to be the best stability perk in the game and it truly does make a difference to the shadow price. In the background now you are seeing snippets of me using this weapon within Iron Banner. Just from a few games, nothing major, but as you guys know I ain't a great PvP player. If anything I'm an average PvP player at best, but still even in my hands this weapon mows people down. I found myself escaping situations like never before. PvP now truly feels as close to the Suos era as it ever has. Still not quite there yet but I think that's a good thing. That era though, the Suos era was frowned upon by a lot of the community and since then PvP has been on a downhill spiral in my opinion. But now at the moment PvP in my opinion is in its best state it's been in ages. Still a few minor issues here and there but nothing major. The fact I'm seeing a massive variety of weapons is also a great thing. Now more about this shadow price. What's interesting which I have noticed when using this weapon is the fact its precision hitbox seems to be massive. I mean this I suppose could be due to lag or slight delays but for sure I was hitting headshots when I really shouldn't have. Its in-game PvP damage is as follows. It does 27 to the face and 21 to the body which I know doesn't seem like much but trust me. When you take into account how accurate this thing is, it's kind of harder to miss than to hit your target, unless you play with your toes obviously. So let's take a further look at this thing's base stats. Its rate of fire, it does 7 bullets per second. Damage to the body, it will do 21 and damage to the head, it will do 27. It will empty its entire clip of 25 bullets in 3.09 seconds. Its reload time as standard is 2.01 seconds. Its reload and ADS ready time is 2.16 seconds. Its damage per second to the body is 147 and damage per second to the head is 189. Its aim assist is between 45 and 50 depending on perks and its equip speed is between 31 and 88 depending on perks and it's got a recoil stat of 64. Now those are its base standard stats. Its time to kill is a little over a second 
which for sure is not the fastest in the game, but it's pretty quick for an auto rifle of this standard. Now many of you guys won't remember the year one times of Destiny with me and my goal to try and get that perfect Lord Vanquisher from New Monarchy. This was the era of the Suez regime and auto rifles within PvP. For the life of me I just couldn't get a decent version of the Vanquisher. Then it seems auto rifles were nerfed into the ground by Bungie due to people as usual complaining. Because of this nerf to auto rifles I gave up on trying to get that Vanquisher and soon after a new set of weapons came to light where all the older vendor weapons seemed to be lost for eternity. Weapons such as the Vanquisher, the Shadow Price and the Grim Citizen, the same variant of auto rifle. Bungie have since introduced new ways to obtain some of these classic weapons through vendor packages. Unfortunately the Vanquisher isn't one of them, but the Grim Citizen and Shadow Prices are. These two weapons are basically the Vanquisher and in my opinion some of the best auto rifles you can obtain today. These weapons feel I'm guessing as good as what they would have done back in year 1 which is amazing. I'm basically finally being able to experience what the Vanquisher would have felt like back in year 1 with the Shadow Price within today's PvP. PvP at the moment for me feels to be at its best it has been in what feels like years. Actually it has been years. There are a few minor things here and there which need to be sorted, but it still does feel better than I can ever remember it feeling in what is now its current state. For sure not everyone will agree with this opinion, but it is my opinion. But yes guys, this is the Shadow Price. The Shadow Price and the Grim Citizen are weapons I suggest you guys give a chance if you do like auto rifles. This weapon was a truly nice surprise and it leads me to believe things are finally on the fucking up with PvP and auto rifles. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. If you have the Shadow Price or Grim Citizen, let me know what you think about them in PvP of today. Again, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you on that next one.